Graham has a question. Irreducibles were not vibrations. Isn't red a vibration? I experience red. And everything I experience is a vibration. Pattern from memory. So red must be an experience in memory. What am I missing? Are irreducible different in another way from composite experiences? Yes, uh, the way the irreducible is defined is that it is the minimum experience. It is the simplest of the experience. That is what it is defined as. Whereas the vibration is defined as the smallest change, simplest possible change. That is the difference between vibration and irreducible. Irreducible is our direct experience. Vibration is a concept. It's a theory or you can say a model. Uh, irreducible is what is present right now. And vibration is something which is cooked up to explain this irreducible. They are not equal. Is red a vibration? No, not at all. The vibrations don't exist actually. You can say that the red exists as an appearance and vibrations do not even appear. We say they are vibrations just to explain our experience. Now the red has appeared. That is the irreducible. It cannot be reduced to anything else. It cannot be reduced to any other experience. Now how can we ex explain this appearance of the red? And a theory is then proposed. Hypothesis is proposed. You can see completely imaginary concepts are given to explain the appearance of red and vibration and vibrating patterns and memory and uh, all these things, layers and all mechanisms, the senses, they are all for a part of the explanation of that which has now appeared. Can you explain the red? What is red? Can somebody explain uh, this thing without using the theory and vibrations? Yes, red is red. Graham is right. The irreducible is called irreducible because it is the most fundamental experience. Now there is a funny thing <laughs> that uh, in science the theory is taken as the fundamental while the experience is considered derived. Like they have cart before the horse. I, I keep saying this thing all the time actually that the experience come first and then these concepts that explain that experience, they come later. There needs to be an experience for there to be an explanation of it in the form of vibrations. We never see the vibration. We never perceive it. We never feel them. Nothing at all. Senses do not catch the vibrations. It is simply proposed that they do so. They interact with the change. What do we know? That the irreducibles are changing phenomena. And uh, to explain why, how this is appearing. Not even why, you see. Not even why. How? We imagine a process. We see that they are semi-permanent. So we say there is a memory. What is the definition of memory? That uh, the patterns, they stay there for a while. You know, see, the memory assumes time. Although it is the memory that creates time, but while explaining it, we assume time first. So you can see it is wrong, somehow it is wrong somewhere. Then uh, the irreducible seem to be changing and they change in a cyclic way. The most fundamental things will be cyclic in nature. Uh, so we say it is a vibration, goes up and down or goes in circles, rotating something, rotating change. That's all we can imagine. And and the interesting thing is, all the experiences can be explained like this in terms of vibrations, patterns and memory. The explanation is so convincing that the scientist or the science says that that is what is actually present. The explanation is so mind-blowing. It is so accurate that it is there since many thousand years now, probably 25,000 years old. And it has not been replaced by anything else so far. So, Agraham is saying, I think I got confused to make sure I get it now. So, purple is purple to irreducible. Even though we can say it's made of, of red and blue light. Yes, yes. The purple is simply an irreducible. That is uh, experienced as uh, 
purple only it is not experienced as a mixture of red and uh, blue that is uh, our direct experience you can have a single frequency of light which is purple or you can shine two frequencies of light which is red and blue you know frequencies me measured in hertz you can say millions of hertz megahertz gigahertz probably this time in the in the case of colors so when we try to explain it as a vibration we see that either it can be a single vibration of purple light or the same effect can be produced by mixing two vibrations of red and blue light so which one is the real purple which one is the illusion and which one is the reality here can somebody tell me same thing for orange the orange is a single frequency of light although we can mix uh, uh, red and yellow to produce the orange not only that we can mix it destructively or subtractively as pigments and produce the same orange where instead of reflection of the light it is absorption of the light isn't that uh, amazing that the same irreducible can produce by different kind of vibrations so those who are in the arts they know this rgb is the additive spectrum cmyk is the subtractive spectrum so rgb you know red uh, green and blue they produce all the colors and you change their intensity and they can produce the browns and grays and everything also in between most of the colors i think they are produced by the rgb combination only three colors can produce all the colors all the irreducible of the colors but <laughs> that is not all the cmyk which means the printable pictures inks and it stands for cyan magenta yellow and black so k is used for black so that you know we don't confuse the blue with the black so uh, cmyk cyan magenta yellow and black can produce the all the colors also by subtractively mixing which means absorption of the wavelengths now absorption of the frequencies the eyes or our sensory mechanism will still produce the purple or orange or any other color gray even red you know cmyk has no red it produces a red it produces so called primary color now how is this magic possible and the only explanation is look this is an illusion the the senses are responsible somehow for transmuting whatever out, is out there into the irreducible but we will never know what has been be transmuted or how, what has been transformed to produce that effect which we call as irreducible or you know tan matra in sanskrit tan matra means the smallest measure and you know i simply translated it into english as the irreducible we i i drop the measurement also because it's so confusing you know which instrument is being used to measure people will ask our senses are the instruments so it is amazing that you see the violin also produces the same note that the flute produce, produces yes the quality will be different in the violin and the flute but uh, if it is the same harmonic it will produce the same irreducible how is that possible there are synthetic chemicals that produce the smell of a mango ripe mango or ripe orange synthetic how is that possible there is no real mango there are no real component extract of the mango they find a compound which smells like it <laughs> that's all it is completely different although you will find there are similarities these are called the aromatic compounds they are all present in your soap and shampoo and whatever things you eat <laughs> on the street so it is seen that the vibrations or the combinations of the vibrations they can produce an irreducible but it is again the horse and the cart situation there is reducible then we find a suitable explanation for it and ultimately we see that it is an illusion there is no red actually no red at all and there is a controversial part in the video where i say i become the red i have become the red and that is a poetic way of saying that the experiencer itself takes the form of red existence has become the illusion of the red so which is the reality not the vibration yes not the vibration they far away from the reality they are a convincing explanation for the intellect 
but uh, there is a, some, some there is some, there's some truth in that we can feel it that there is some truth but we cannot say what it is does not seem to be one to one relation between our experience and the uh, composition of the vibrations does not look like that there is a direct relation actually there are many experiments and many illusions which uh, you can say optical illusions or audio illusions they demonstrate all these things for example uh, a circle made up of dots you need a few dots on the paper and the mind is going to produce an illusion of circle although there are dots but your mind will say it is a circle all you need to do is pack more dots in there and it becomes continuous circle so what has happened here is the irreducible of the shape of the circle is produced from the hint given to it simply hint hint about it it produces that and this is seen very clearly in the irreducible of the emotions you need to mention the name of a person you dislike somebody needs to mention it name of a person whom you dislike and immediately there is a experience of anger or fear or whatever hate the hint is enough no vibration entered the mind you see the person is not there no event has happened the hint and the and the whole hate is pulled from the memory actually it is pulled from the waking memory and we still get the irreducible we still get it now how is that possible you will say now we'll enter the there are more questions but i'll finish this matter you know very interesting thing now let us enter the real uh, paradox here when you are dreaming in the night actually there are no senses actually there are no worldly vibration you know nothing is coming from the atmosphere from the world from the outside world to you and you still see the shapes you still hear the voices and you still see the colors there is brilliant red color there now which sense produced it your eyes are the working in the night in the dream is the sunlight there somehow entering the brain producing the red where is the source of the red here which vibration is producing that red which you see so clearly in the dream sometimes it's so am- amazing that you know there are uh, shapes and people and even animals that are so life like they are animated also you see animated now which vibration is producing this what happened to our theory of vibration what happened to our theory of physical world here the physical world is contains the colors and our eyes tell them to the brain and that is the bullshit that is written in your science books so a lot of confusion there you we need to drop all this indoctrination and see it directly as it is i become the irreducible of any kind there are infinite kinds that's what i told in that one video of the sensory spectrum that as we go towards the source which means the purity which means that which i am the range of the irreducible increases common sense which tells us that probably as i'll go to the emptiness it will become darker and darker and will some somehow evaporate totally there won't be any experience at all <laughs> i'll tell you that the situation is exactly opposite as you go towards physical from the source let us imagine you know, this is a model only that i am inside and the physical world is outside imagine a circle on the paper which is i a small circle and a surrounding circle that inscribes this circle as the world or whatever is out there now as i go from inside to outside i observe that irreducibles decrease in number in their variation in their amount and as i reach the physical it is reduced to five senses only although there are there are kind of lot of possibilities their combinations are possible still it is reduced as i go towards the source the go on increasing there are hundreds of non physical senses there are 50 internal senses and there are only five physical senses so as we go towards the source we see more and more irredu- kind of kinds of irreducibles and that is the experience of these drug addicts and uh, <laughs> you see people who project into other uh, worlds they find some some experience which cannot even 
we accommodate it in the waking state. The waking memory refuses to accept it. It is too big for it or too different, too alien. It's just mumbo jumbo of some kind of experience when you return from a non-physical trip. It cannot be fitted in the waking memory. The waking memory accepts only the sensory kind of information which we get from the waking state. So the result is we don't remember what happened. So we, when we are in the dream, we see a lot of things. But when, when we wake up, it is reduced to probably 1% of what, what was dreamt. Anyhow, this is the best explanation that I become the irreducible. And as the limitations are taken on, as we go from this inner circle to the outer circle of experience, more and more limitations are taken on by myself, the experiencer. And finally, in the physical, it becomes very small. It is reduced to bare minimum which is needed for survival. And the experience can become red <laughs> under any circumstances, see? any combination of vibrations or whatever you call it. Graham is saying, when I get angry, I see red. <laughs> Those who are in love, they see everything as green or purple, probably pink. Who knows? So, you see, there are people who can see colors around the bodies of people. What, what produces this color? Their non-physical senses are active. <laughs> and the experiencer is happily becoming red and purple and blue and white and whatever silver colors around the body. It is telling you that, look, there is something here which the physical senses cannot grasp. So, this uh, explanation of the experiencer, irreducibles, and uh, an explanation containing the memory and vibrations. That is the complete science, in my opinion. This is derived totally from the Sankhya philosophy, which is very, very old, very ancient. They knew all these things. Nowadays, the modern people are totally stupid. Okay, I think that answered it completely.